Kazakhstan is the largest of the former Soviet republics. It's as big as Europe and the ninth largest country in the world. It contains vast steppe regions, and within this steppe, people have lived for thousands of years in yurts, round tents covered in handmade wool felt, felt that kept the yurt warm in winter and cool in summer. But as Kazakhstan has emerged as a globalized state, old crafts have fallen by the wayside, until recently. small company, a good line, which is uh, busy with the reviving and developing of felt products in Kazakhstan. I initiated the idea to reviving in 2002. It was difficult, but now we have a lot of uh, people who is making felt by hand in different regions of Kazakhstan. We began to develop small workshops, programs for local women. In each village in Kazakhstan we can find wool and they can use it and to make ecological clean things like slippers, carpets, traditional things for Kazakhs and of course also uh, different um, new things. We developed a lot of new products like combination for example silk and uh, wool and we get nice scarves, nice uh, dresses for uh, women and now for example the people from show business they also use our products. I worked for one international organization it calls Central Asian Mountain Partnership and uh, we had possibilities to travel a lot uh, over the world and I saw uh, some people who felt it in Germany, in Switzerland or in Austria and they try to make felt but in our country we ourselves forget this uh, nice tradition and the idea was very ambitious uh, and not everybody supported me in the beginning but now uh, everybody understood that it was very nice uh, idea, social idea uh, we kept our traditions, which uh, almost forget it. And uh, now we, we, we are participating not in only uh, Republic exhibitions or events, we're also visiting USA, we are visiting different countries in Europe, and the quality of our felt products uh, surprised a lot of our customers in different countries. For our work, we use sheep wool. Sheep wool is the best material for felting. We tried also use uh, um, camel wool, uh, also from goat, but the best material is sheep wool. Uh, Kazakhs, uh, they were very clever. Maybe they also tried any material and they found out that sheep wool is the best for felting. That's why our yurts, our carpets, everything in our uh, in yurtas, we are from felt, from sheep wool, from felt. And uh, now, nowadays we buy already from fabrics um, fine merino wool, for example, or any other sort of wool, already cleaned, already carded, and very nice uh, to work with such as material. Uh, everything begins from lying of the wool. And it is very important how you can to lie the wool. The quality of the last product uh, depends from the quality of your line. And of course, the speed of Bachet is very high because she is very experienced. She is working with me seven years already <laughs> together. Uh, and we should lie the wool in different ways in horizontal and vertical. She finished already one way of lying and began another way. And it depends how thick or thin uh, will be the 
ready product. She will finish to this light. Два слоя же, да, сейчас будет? She will, in five, five minutes, she will finish, and we will show you how to do it. We, as I told already, we are dyeing uh, our wool uh, by hand, and when Maya will finish with the, um, preparing the pattern, we will put it uh, to prepare pre-felt and cut the, uh, the pattern. She's just going to use scissors? Начала. Yes. Думаю, посмотрим. Нам надо было фартук наш одеть. She's gonna pin everything. Yeah. Almost what is she doing? What's this? Yes. Uh, is it so? For felting, usually we use also so, and uh, we buy children's soap, you know? Because we think it is the cleanest soap, <laughs> and uh, it is good not only for the hands of our masters, also for our customers, uh, to make everything more natural. And now she uses just water and soap, and we will slowly press it. Our product. Maybe just some ingredients. <laughs> Is there a reason that you use a piece of lace underneath? Sorry? Is there a reason that you use a piece of lace underneath? Is that the, the cloth that you've got underneath? Yes, yes, this one, yeah? Yeah. Because it uh, brings the water, easily brings the water to the but uh, it also um, helps us to put the fabric in the place, you know? It, does, it grabs it. Yes. It grabs it. Oh, okay. Yes. In the beginning, it should be very, very careful. In each piece, we should have the soap and also water. You can see the pattern of the cloth underneath it in this. Be we should not to felt it a lot because we should put another pre-felted piece and then felt it together. That's why it should be also not hard felted in the beginning. You know, mm -hmm. later mm -hmm. we will felt it. So now you're making the edges neat. Yeah, we, we know already, we have some standards, let's say. We developed it uh, by our experience. How big uh, pre-felt we should do for it, how big uh, pattern we should do for it. Mm -hmm. Everything is calculated. For our pupils or students, it's very easy to come to us and to learn because we give a uh, nice and uh, easy recipe. So, so the water and the soap actually just takes all those fibers and, and makes them lock together. Yes, yes. It's For as example, simple as that. Okay. It was, in the beginning, it was just a um, wool. Right. Yeah. Now it's already fabric. Already. Not hard fabric, but already fabric. Mm -hmm. We get it by soap and water, and later it will be good uh, quality fabric. You know? The, the product will be very nice if 
each part will be symmetrical we should calculate it also to put it in nicer array let's see this fabric S to keep it in place yeah because and water it's in and the soap. beginning also can move a little bit yeah? yeah water and soap very easy very ecological clean let's say we don't use uh, chemical things chemical um, things for 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 felting And also, second part, we, we use also, you know, to another one. And that's why we have a positive and negative for each, of each pattern. And show also, upstairs, on the ready uh, seat cushions or, um, how to say, uh, pillows, Mm -hmm. where we use also positive and negative part of each part. Oh, the wrap. Oh, you wrap it like that. That's interesting. Yes. Like sushi. No, I know she's smiley, but I'm still open there. Скажите ей. Смело. She is so brave at that because she has got a lot of experience. She's Don't also probably afraid. got very strong uh, arms. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is small thing, small product. If you making uh, when you lie mm -hmm. for big carpet, a lot of lies, yeah, and hard carpet, you should do also together with other women, and of course you need, it needs a lot of craft. You're never gonna look at that stuff in the marketplace again the same way, right? <laughs> Okay, is it almost done? Do we take it off now? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> but it will be smaller and smaller until it will be like this. It'll know? shrink. Yes, it shrinked. But nice color. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much.